Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today I'm gonna to show you just a few simple tricks to make your holiday crafting a little bit easier. Um, I think with the holidays, we're probably gonna be personalizing a lot of things or you'd like to. <laughs> so, you know, names or sentiments, I'm gonna show you how to do that with just some like simple tricks, make it super easy. Um, and it's sort of the same process, whether you're cutting in vinyl or you're cutting paper uh, to make a tag, for instance, or if you're cutting vinyl, whether it's to put, you know, as a sticker, the adhesive vinyl, or if you're using um, iron-on heat transfer vinyl where we're ironing it on. So all of it ends up being the same because we're, we're still cutting out the same name or the same sentiment. Um, the only difference is how you apply it. So I'm going to start with this one. I recently did Merry and Bright, and I did it in three beautiful colors. Um, if you don't know already, I love 12 by 12 cardstock shop because they have, you can just easily order all the colors online. So I do encourage um, getting their swatch kit because I have it here so I can tell you the colors. Um, if you go on there, the for Mary and Bright, if you saw the project on Facebook or on Instagram, these are the colors that I use. So from the Encore line, and I'll post it in the comments or in the description, it's caramel. Caramel is the second, um, the second layer. The first layer is this rose gold foil from Basil, and it is available at 12 by 12 cardstock shop. And then the last color is this beautiful glamour pink matte. I know you're like, I didn't think I was going to love the matte, but as soon as I saw it, so instead of it being, it's mirror foil uh, or metallic foil, but matte, it is gorgeous. And again, that color is glamour pink matte, but it will be in the description. Okay. When you're doing, um, like in this case, I did Miriam Bright. I'm going to show you how to download the font also in this video. Um, the font is a little bit on the thin side. So um, I do still like my offsets to be thin, but I'll show you, um, you know, I like going anywhere between 0 0.05 and 0 0.07, but let's get started because <laughs> it's a lot of talking. You haven't seen it yet. All right. So first thing is um, this text is, uh, let's see if I can remember. I'm going to, so when you download your own font, when you go into fonts, it won't be in Cricut, it'll be in system. And I think this had something with toe. Yep, pinky toe. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to download that. It's from Creative Fabrica. I don't have a lot of subscriptions to, um, you know, I just don't have a lot of subscriptions, but one of the ones that I do have is Creative Fabrica because I feel like the fonts are so amazing and the images as well. So we'll talk about that in a second. So Mary and bright okay oops all right i'm gonna make it really big so that you can see this while we're talking so if you notice a couple of things this is my first layer right here um and if you can see the m is by itself but mary and and the b is all together and then right is together i don't i just didn't want to have so many different pieces. I know it's just one, but it just makes it sturdier and a little bit easier. So, and I didn't, I also wanted to make this kind of big and I didn't want it to be taken up by the space. So what you want to do is immediately you go and you ungroup this. Okay. So when you ungroup it, everything is ungrouped, you know, like every single letter. So what I want to do is I'm going to scroll up just a little bit. I'm going to move the and sign over. Okay. And I think I messed around with this B a little bit, but you know, I can move it there. So it's connected there. I wonder if that's what I did. Yeah. And then I'm going to grab this whole thing and move it over. Now it's thin, but if you have good HTV and or paper, um, this will cut beautifully. Um, what you want to do is you want to always make sure that you have a, a good sticky mat. You want to use your brayer and that you don't have any debris on your, um, your blade. So take the blade out, make sure you know, blow on it, make sure everything is out of there and you should be able to cut. If it's not cutting, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I use my, um, you know, I don't change out my blades that often. Um, those are, I feel like if you look at those three items, um, and you check on that, 
most likely you would have fixed the issue. All right, so here, I think I like everything. I think I wanna move the M over just a little bit because it feels like there's a lot more space than between the B and the R. So that's just me being a little bit picky. And I move it over. Then the next thing you wanna do is because we kind of merged this ampersand and the B, we wanna weld everything because we don't want it to cut individually. And what I mean by that is let me change this to a color that we can see better. And you'll see that this R, if I'm going to um, bring it to the front, you see how that R will cut into this R? Even though you might not see it, this R is gonna cut into this Y as well. So you want to make sure that you grab the whole thing and you go to combine and you weld it. Now it's all one piece. This is all one, um, nothing's cutting into the other thing. The E flows into the R, the R flows into the other R, etc. All right, the next thing I want you to take a peek at is I'm gonna make this even bigger so you can see this. Sometimes I feel like with the more beautiful cardstock, like the foil um, or the, the sequin glitter cardstock, those are white core. So if you don't get a clean cut, you'll see a little bit more white. So this little cut right here, it is so tiny that to me, it's not worth having in there and ruining your paper. So what I would want you to do is because this is already highlighted, go to contour in the bottom right hand corner and this allows us to kind of pick and choose little pieces that we don't want cut. So I'm going to scroll down because it's so small. It's this. I don't know where these two little dots are. I'm just going to click on them as well. So you see I got rid of that. I love the contour feature for that. It's super easy to remove things and you're just going to have a better cut. All right. I'm now going to make this smaller. I want this to fit across a... Um, one 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock. So I'm gonna actually make this maybe, because um, you know, you can only cut 11 and a half, right? So I'm just gonna make it 11 because we're gonna do the offset and yeah. So, okay, so now I wanna do an offset that looks, you know, that follows this exactly, right? So I'm gonna click on offset. You can use this little dial button to change how big you want the offset to how small you want the offset. And you can do a negative, um, offset if you wanted to. But I just like to go into this um, this space right here and click 0 0.5. And I'm going to hit apply and I'm going to see this. And sometimes, uh, most of the time, I will say, I do like 0 0.05. But when the fonts are so thin and I'm using um, really pretty, pretty paper, I want it to show a little bit more. So I'll buff it up to 0 0.07. So I'm going to go in there you know, tab and it will apply it. It just gives you a little bit more all around. So I'm gonna hit apply. So my first layer is going to be that rose gold. So I'll keep it this this color. My second layer is the, um, which one is it? It is the caramel. So I'm gonna change the color just a little bit. I'm gonna click on this one and go to advanced and just click something a little bit darker. So I know it's a little bit darker, but still in that same vein. All right, now I'm gonna grab the whole thing and I'm gonna do one more offset. And apply, and that offset is going to be my matte, um, glamour pink matte, which just, I promise you, you're gonna love. Okay, so there you have it, right? Really, really easy to do the offsets. So if you can think, I mean, this is merry and bright. It could be a place setting. Uh, it could go onto your wrapped gift, your present, um, or you, you, know, you can do a name or a sentiment. But now if you're wondering at the end of this, right, we have this, oops, let me move these two right on top. Um, and I'm going to grab all three layers and just go to a line and I'm going to center and that way it's back to the way it's supposed to be, okay? And the reason why I'm doing that is if you wanted to add a little tag right here, a little circle with a hole, like, you know, like a like you would buy. Let's see how big this is right now. It's 11.28, we still have a little bit of room. I'm gonna show you quickly how to make those tags. So it's basically a circle, right? So we're gonna click on the plus sign. I'm so not used to clicking on that plus sign. Um, all right, we're gonna close that up. Um, let me see how big this, 
original one, 11.3. All right, so I'm gonna make this 11.3 to make it identical. And then I'm actually just going to delete this just so that we have the space. Okay, I'm gonna move this up. And let's say you wanna put like a little tag right here so you can put your ribbon through it. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So obviously we're not gonna do it at two inches. Um, let me look at this, maybe, all right, I'll do 0.7, we'll, we'll see how, and I want to make it even numbers just so that I can remember, actually, if I'm going to do that, I'm going to do 0. 0.75, just so that my memory these days, all right, I'm going to click on this circle and duplicate it and make this one smaller, I'm going to make this maybe 0. 0.5, okay, and let's see what that looks like. So it's going to be, and let me change the colors so that you can see this a little bit more easily on your screen. Um, okay. So if you wanna make the, the ring for your ribbon a little bit thicker, which I think would be a good idea, I'm gonna make the smaller circle a little bit smaller. So let's go to point four and see what that looks like. Okay. So now I'm gonna grab the two, oops, let me move this one. Move this over a little bit. Okay. I'm going to grab the two circles. I want to center it right before I slice it. Okay. So that looks about the thickness that I want. I kind of like that. Um, I'm going to grab both items and we're going to slice so that I can remove the center circle from the outer circle and I've made my little piece. I think that's still a little bit big, that circle right there to turn it into a tag. So we can make this a little bit smaller and do something like that, right? And we can make this so that it's attached to the last layer. So what you're gonna to to do is, you're gonna to go to this last layer, hit the control button on your keyboard, and I'm gonna grab the purple circle. So see these two are highlighted, and I'm going to weld. When I weld, this is now my top layer, nothing disappeared it just moved on you you can highlight that and arrange and bring sent to the back so this is now still our original merry and bright sentiment but now it has a little circle in there for you to wrap the gift um all right so that's one thing let me show you how to get the fonts so um we're going to go to creative fabrica this if you click on the link you can get a really good deal it's so worth it i have the the membership and you just have so many fonts. So let me just show you really quickly. You can go to fonts and, you know, popular this week. I mean, there's just so many. Here's Pinky Toe. I loved it. I felt like it's thin enough to be whimsical, but not too thin where you want to tear out your hair while you're working on the project. <laughs> so if you like Pinky Toe, click on it. You're going to download it. Now, if you don't have the membership when you download it, it will instead tell you how much it costs, so it's up to you. Um, so now that I've downloaded, I'm gonna go into my downloads and I'm gonna double click on it to go into the folder and here it is. I'm just gonna double click it again and install. Now I've already installed it, so your pop-up will be different than this, but yes, let's just install it. Okay, once you've installed it, you need to close out Design Space. It will not be in here until you close out and open it up again. So let me just save this. Oh, you know what? All right, I will save it. Save as, but I'm gonna save it as with ribbon attachment. So that way I don't lose my original one if I don't want to do this little guy. All right, so you're gonna close it and go back into it and it will now be available. I know it was available before because I had already done it. <laughs> All right, so that's one simple thing. I will be back to show you how to do um, little shaker tags. So come back and join me. I am uh, you know, it's been a while since I've done a tutorial. Um, I really want to get back into it. So please follow, subscribe, and watch, and let me know what you want to see. Thank you so much for your patience. I'll see you guys next time.